Okay, here goes. A catch and specify requirement, very typical uh, topic of discussion uh, at your Java interview. Someone would just uh, uh, come in with a list of questions, and one of the questions would be, could you explain Java principle for catch, uh, catch or specify? Or a variation of that question could be, um, explain uh, um, how does Java uh, catch or specify requirement works in real life? And so the answer really goes to say, as it, as it was in our example, there could be two, uh, two ways to deal with exceptions, really. Uh, when we deal with uh, checked exceptions. Uh, one uh, is to specify that the method throws an exception, and um, uh, another uh, method of dealing with exceptions is to use the try and catch, which translates to an attempt to catch an exception, to provide the handle uh, for, for an exception. And this is where this catch or specify requirement um, idea comes from. You really have two, uh, two options. Uh, w a catch, pro catch requirement says that if you decided to handle the, the error, the way to do this is to use a try and catch uh, statement. Right? Okay? Or if you decided not to handle the error, you fail over to the specify requirement, which basically says you need to provide this throws clause or specifier in your method and say, well, I am going to have this method which can still uh, deal with exceptions, uh, gener generate exceptions, but it's not going to attempt to handle the exception. Therefore, the handler or the caller of this method is responsible for, uh, for handling, um, of handling that exception. So, so there's uh, basically uh, try and catch is a catch requirement. Say, I want to handle an error, use try and catch. Alternative, I don't want to handle an error. Then uh, in your code, in fact, in your method uh, specifier, say that um, the method throws an exception. You have to explicitly declare that, and uh, that uh, would be your excuse not to handle exception in this specific method, right? So each Java program must follow this rule. The code will not compile unless the catch or specify requirement is honored. And when a block of code can throw an exception, such block could use these two alternatives. So just be aware that this is a very, very typical question at, at, at your Java, you know, Java uh, position interview. Uh, just uh, be prepared for that. So we mentioned checked exceptions multiple times. So the definition, it's an exception which is recognized and detected by the compiler, uh, by the compiler at compile time. Of course, compiler gets out of the way as soon as the program is complete. But during compile time, a uh, compiler can check checked exceptions and uh, give you uh, errors, uh, compile errors, which uh, would indicate that you have to do some extra work to deal with, uh, with the possibility of exceptions. So file not found exception uh, is one of those uh, exceptions that uh, 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 that would be checked uh, exception. So we say that uh, the syntax for uh, checked ex to 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 avoid dealing with them. That's just another example. Is that you can say your method name, your parameter list, and then the, this specific method throws exception one, exception two, and you can create the whole list using the comma, uh, comma uh, delimited list of uh, exceptions which, uh, which you uh, declare uh, can be thrown by your method, right? So this is uh, the specified version of uh, exception, uh, exception handling. Uh, so checked exceptions example uh, right here, just just a specific example of that. Um, and uh, again, this is a signal sig signal to the compiler. Don't worry about checked exceptions because we explicitly say that the caller of this method should be dealing with with problems. This method 
doesn't want to deal with problems. We understand that there could be possible exceptions here, but we will just say that this method throws these exceptions, and therefore compiler will let the statement uh, or this method to be compiled just fine. It's now the responsibility of the caller to deal with bad situations uh, which may be caused by exception, you know, exception method uh, like this. And therefore, uh, most likely somewhere else in the code, we're going to be using try and catch statement to deal with errors. But remember, when we uh, run our, uh, when we were, uh, we were running the uh, the sample code, uh, at some point we were able to print exception stack. And let me actually do this. Uh, I just say here's my exception ex. Uh, there are methods which will um, uh, print uh, print stack trace, right? So we can print stack trace which is a great uh, way of dealing with errors. So if I run this, uh, so this is another really, really powerful feature of exceptions is that without any, any effort, you get this extremely detailed information about where exactly in the application the error took place. If you have to do some debugging of, of an application and you need to reproduce uh, an existing bug, right? Um, you just, uh, all you have to do is just make sure that you want to uh, find a place where exception handler exists and turn on this uh, 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 stack trace uh, printing and print it and it's going to give you the roadmap to exactly how did you get to generate this error. Right? So right here it tells me that if you go to week 9, here's the statement. If you go to week 9, uh, um, next statement, it's this statement. And if you go to the arithmetic, that's exactly the place where the exception got originated. So obviously this is a signal to me, I already kind of knew that this was an arithmetic range exception, but for me, the, the curious uh, part is, how did I get here? Well, it's based on this condition. So apparently this condition wasn't true. So then I need to investigate. I'll place a breakpoint here and see which, which of, you know, left or right where, uh, where less or equal zero, which caused the condition to fail, and uh, essentially uh, find out the root of the problem. So, uh, so this is... Uh, very, uh, uh, you know, uh, very nice because I, I, as far as I can recall, I didn't make any effort to make this happen. I just wanted to print stack trace, and it just happened automatically for me. And uh, uh, it's uh, it's already built into the exception a Java exception hierarchy and comes as a feature. Nothing, uh, no no effort on your part. And so it gives you a great way to debug and uh, analyze problems uh, related to, especially related to, uh, you know, simply any kind of exception.